Gabriel Dufel of Togo, on people heading to hell. All Satan fruitless deeds exposed, Ephesians 5 11 13, M-A-T-H-E-W 10 26 27. Women are in hell for being on top of their husbands during sex. The women W-H-O are climbing on top of their husbands to have sex with their husband underneath them are in hell. A woman in hell for wearing earrings. Women W-H-O wear trousers O-R short trousers, shorts, when you die, demons will shove a sword up into your private parts in hell. A man in hell for lusting after a woman dressed sensually. People in hell for listening to worldly music, all the songs of love. They cannot enter heaven. Men in hell for using condoms. All Catholics and all Muslims go to hell when they die. All the lesbians WHO are practicing oral sex with their partners, the demons torture them in hell. Dear brethren I have given you a highlight of what is in the testimony. Take time and read all because you will be helped and be saved. Looking at what is in the testimony for sure we need to repent all the foolish things we have done to obtain mercy from the Sovereign Lord God, because the Bible says there is nothing hidden in the sight of the Lord whether in the darkness o our light. Take heed and repent for the kingdom is at hand. For it is written in Revelation 22 16 that, He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him continue to be filthy, he who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still, and I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give every one according to his work. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into a city. But outside are dogs and sorcerers and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie. I Jesus have sent my angel to testify these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. 1 Thessalonians 4, 1-5, 7-8 Finally then, brethren, we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you received from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what we gave you through Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you knows how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion for lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. For God did not call us to uncleanness but in holiness. Therefore he rejects this does not reject man but God, who has given us his Holy Spirit. Before he came to know the Lord, Gabriel Dufel Coco was a Catholic man, living a life of sin. He was sleeping with women, and they were paying him for it. Then while he was still in his sin, two angels came to him on December 9, 2011. He was at home in the bathroom, taking a bath, preparing to go out and cheat on his wife. He was singing a Christian song about Mary since he was Catholic. Then he heard a voice say, God is a jealous God. This was repeated again. And the third time he heard it, he ran out of the bathroom in fear into the bedroom. As he continued to get ready for the date with his girlfriend, she called and asked if he was coming, so he told her he was coming. Then he heard a voice tell him to switch, off the phone. He switched it off and asked his wife who told him to off the phone. She said, are you mad? Nobody told you to off the phone. So he lay down on the bed, and suddenly two angels appeared in front of him. He wanted to scream, but he could not do so. They were glorious and wearing white, but he did not know they were angels since he had never seen an angel. He asked them who they were, and they said, We are angels of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he has sent us to show you some things. Then they said, Your life is a life of sin. And they told him to open to Mark 2.17, which says, It is not healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. They told him to come with them, but he didn't want to go. He fought it, but he did not have the strength to resist. He was feeling great pain in his body as his spirit came out of it because he was fighting it. He finally came out of his body and asked them who that person was laying there on the bed with his mouth open and who was not moving. They said that was his dead body. Then they took him by the arms and flew away with him between them. They showed him his country of Togo in deep darkness. There were only eight pastors and seven true believers who were shining the light of Jesus Christ. When the Lord Jesus raptures believers like them around the world up to heaven, the world will be left in total darkness. The Catholic Church is not from God. One of the angels asked him what church he was going to, and he said he went to the Catholic Church. The angel told him, the Catholic Church is not from God. 
It is from man, and the leader is Satan, the beast. Gabriel was angry and said, That's what people are saying about us, and you also as angels are saying the same thing. Why? If you are really an angel of God, why are you saying that Catholic is a satanic church? They told him, Look, inside the Catholic church, the church that you are saying is the church of God. And they showed him in the spirit so that he could see the church clearly as it really is. It was stinking inside the church like a garbage truck. It was stinking and he was closing his nose. And one of the angels told him not to close his nose. He said, Why are you closing your nose? You are a sinner, and you know that you are a sinner. And God who is holy, 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 can this God come into this church that you are seeing and saying is from God? Are you sure? There were snakes, big monkeys, and different animals. And he saw the so-called holy water, which was stinking. They told him this water was the blood of dead people, which they were using to make the sign of the cross when they enter the church. There were worms everywhere, insects, and dirt. Under the altar, they buried human skulls, bones, and human excrement. The place where they were putting the sacraments, the sacraments were a big idol. And people were coming there to worship and bow down to the idol. Demons were filling the air and they were happy. Gabriel was surprised, and he asked, Is this a Catholic church? They said, Look, you are saying the church is from God. Is Catholicism really from God? It was terrible. Gabriel was afraid and angry. These things were like garbage. The Catholic church is like ancient garbage. It was stinking, and he was closing his nose. The angel told him, You said this church is from God. Look, if that church is from God, can they bury the skull and bones of a man under a church, which is the church of the Lord. When Jesus died he arose. Now Gabriel feels that no matter what anyone says in an attempt to promote the Catholic Church so you will enter and not come out again, he will not believe him. One of the angels told him, if we go to some place now if you believe or not, we'll know. The church of Togo smelling like garbage. And they showed him all the churches of Togo and it was smelly garbage. He was thinking it was just the Catholic Church that was like that, but all the churches are toilets. They are stinking. They showed him a church, where they took a woman who was nine months pregnant and buried her alive inside the church so that she died. The demons chained the people who entered that church so that it was not possible for them to ever come out again. They would only praise the pastor and say, Miracle, Miracle, Miracle. And God is looking at all those things. Three demons over Togo. Gabriel was very angry and in pain. He was suffering inside. But the angels told him to keep looking. And they showed him three demons, which were terrible. They are ugly and they have no pity. There was one demon on air, one on the sea, and one on earth. The angels said that all the churches of Togo are under the control of those demons, except for the eight pastors he saw and the seven people. These demons have chained all the Togolese people and all of them are worshipping them. The angels showed him a hotel in the center of a particular city in Togo, where there were lots of women. He said, if you dream that somebody is sleeping with you, it's those demons. If one of those demons sleeps with you, it's finished for you. You cannot get married, even if you are beautiful. You have to go man to man, or woman to woman. It will be difficult for you to get married, if you have a dream that somebody is sleeping with you, it's all those demons. They are putting dirty things inside of you. People will not love you. Nobody will enjoy you. Women wearing fake hair, trousers, makeup, and jewelry. When he saw this, he asked, what is that? He was angry. The angels told him to keep looking. He saw women wearing hair attachments, but those were actually serpents on their heads. The various kinds of jewelry they were wearing like earrings and chains were also serpents. The fingernail paint was actually blood, and so was the lipstick. Mascara and fake eyelashes were like what is in the toilet. It was stinking. All the women who put makeup on their faces were stinking as if they put excrement on their faces. Those women who were in trousers were wearing serpents. He was surprised to see this and asked about it, but they told him to just keep looking. Then said they were going to take him to another place, and then he would understand all those things they were showing him there. Satan claimed my soul at the gates of heaven. The two angels stood on either side of him and carried him away. They flew off to another place. He had never flown on a plane before, so as they ascended up through the clouds, he asked if it was heaven, and they told him it was not. 
They continued ascending until they reached a gate. The glory of God was coming out of that gate. There were two angels at the gate. He cannot compare heaven to any country. He was surprised and wanted to enter. However, Satan stood there laughing at him, saying, All those things they have shown you until now, do you believe? Gabriel said, No. Satan started laughing again and he saw that Satan looked beautiful. His skin was like butter. It was shining. It's like it says in the book of Ezekiel that Satan is beautiful and shining. He laughed and told Gabriel, I am Satan. You cannot enter the gate. They put me out of heaven and I have been down on earth. In the past, those people who entered heaven were lucky. But now the other people it will be difficult for them to enter. I will stay here. If somebody wants to enter heaven and has something from me, he cannot enter. Then he laughed again and started insulting him. He asked again, all those things they have shown you, do you believe? Gabriel said, yes, now I believe. He replied, if you don't shut up, you will know me, Satan. You will know what I want to do with people. The way that you are playing with your grace, you are playing with your grace. Me, Satan, I didn't come to play, but I came to destroy everybody and to bring them to hell. He said that people love him, but they don't love Jesus. He said that if Gabriel goes back to the earth with a testimony, he would work through Gabriel's priests to get the testimony rejected. He said that if he goes back and tells about these things that Catholics are like this, who will believe? He started laughing again. Satan gave him the scripture that says, This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. 1 JN 3:10. He told Gabriel that he is his father. Gabriel said, if you don't love your brother or sister, if you go to the gates of heaven, Satan will bring you to hell. If you have earrings, false hair, if you have eyelashes, mascara, you are lying. Know that you are a child of Satan. Satan grabbed Gabriel with his hand like when police arrest a thief. Satan said, I didn't come to play. It's not possible for you to repent. Gabriel said that's why he wants to bring the whole world to hell. Gabriel told Satan, all those things the angels were showing me, I believe now. Satan replied, if you don't shut up, I will destroy you. His shout was like a lion's roar. He roared like a lion and Gabriel was afraid. Satan said, maybe one person will enter heaven again. Those people who entered, it's better for them. Now I will not allow them to enter again. But if they don't have something of mine, they can go. Satan asked the angels, do you allow this guy to enter? If you allow him, he also may enter. Do you forget that I lived here before? Do you forget that it was me singing, giving joy to God here? But if God threw me away, and you say he can enter, if you allow him to enter, me also I will enter. He was mocking and blaspheming God. He was blaspheming the angels of God, but the angels of God didn't tell him anything. He was insulting them. And about God, he said, you're an impossible God. You said you came to die. All your blood is negative. If you didn't die, it would be better for you. He was insulting, and if you heard it you would be angry. He said to Gabriel, all the girls, women love you. Don't you know you are my likeness? I have my sign on you. You cannot go to heaven with my sign. Don't you know it's me who gave you condoms? Don't you know that I'm putting in front of you the authorities, the soldiers police, in front of you, so you have money in your pocket? Don't you know that it's me, Satan? The salary that you have to give me is hell. I bought your soul with hell. He took Gabriel and wanted to break him. Gabriel wanted to cry. He says that Jesus later sent him back to earth so he could repent, but after death, there is no repentance. He was crying and nobody was helping him. The angels were just standing there with their arms folded. One of the angels approached Satan and said, We reject your accusations because the man who has the last word is he who sent us. We don't come here on our own strength but through the power of the one who has the last word. When the angel said, in the name of Jesus, Satan fell down and suddenly the gates of heaven started opening automatically. Meeting the glorious king of kings in person. A person came from the gate and his glory is mighty. He's mighty. Gabriel says that if you want to see the face of this person, your eyes will be destroyed. His brilliance is more than the sun. Satan started running when the gate opened. Gabriel says it's true that when you call upon the name of Jesus, you are calling upon the name of the Lord before whom every knee will bow.
In heaven, everybody kneels down at the name of Jesus, and every tongue confesses that he is holy and he is Lord. He approached Gabriel, and as he did it was difficult for Gabriel to see his face. He was so full of glory. But he wanted to see his face. He said, Who is this? Wow, it's difficult for me to see his face. But he was trying to see his face. Gabriel says he has a big crown on his head. His eyes are like fire. His head is very white. He is beautiful. You cannot compare his beauty and the likeness of the Lord Jesus. He is millions of times more beautiful than Satan. And his robe was shining. He was approaching Gabriel and he asked him with a fresh voice, Do you know me? Immediately when the Lord said that, Gabriel saw holes in his hands and the blood was coming out. He saw holes in his feet and the blood was coming out. Gabriel was filled with peace and replied with crying, Yes, I know you. He asked, How do you know me? He replied with a cry, I know that it's you who came to die for our sins. He asked, Where do you know me? He replied with a cry. The Lord said, You know me and you are living that life. Gabriel cried and didn't know where the cry was coming from. The Lord said, That life is the reason I came. If you know me, will you continue to live that life? A video of my life was played back. Immediately Gabriel saw a big screen in pure gold come before his face. He saw Hebrews 4.13 come up before him, which says, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. When the scripture came up, he saw his mother and father. He saw them on their marital bed the way they slept when they conceived him. The way his mother became pregnant, he saw all those things. He saw the way his mother gave him a bath and all the old people who were around her in the hospital. He saw the way he was crying at night as a baby, and the way he grew and went to school. He saw the way he was selling maize and beans from the bag of his mother. He saw the way he was doing masturbation and the way he was stealing money from his mother. He was seeing everything and hearing everything, the way he was lying, going to see pornographic movies. He saw the time he was sleeping with both a woman and her daughter. He saw the time he was sleeping with two sisters. He saw how he was sleeping around like a dog. The way he was going to sell condoms to prostitutes, he saw it all. He saw the way he was going the country of Benin to sleep with prostitutes. He saw all those sins. He saw the number of all the women he slept with. It said he slept with 310 women between the ages of 8 and 25 years old. The Lord asked him two questions, Are you ready now to enter heaven? Or are you ready now to go to hell? A revelation of hell. Gabriel says, When he said, Hell, we started descending and descending. I was hearing cries. If you hear cries in hell, your heart will be broken. I was hearing cries, the different cries. If somebody told that there is no hell, hell is real. If somebody said there is no hell, he's lying. Cries of, I will repent. I will not do that again. I will repent. I will repent. I heard the cry of a young boy. My heart was pounding. I tried to close my ears. But I was hearing the more of the cries. And I said again, am I going to hell like this? Oh. Jesus, have pity on me. And I said, Lord if you don't put me inside hell and if I come back, I will repent. When the Lord waved his hand in front of him, the gate of hell opened. Everybody was crying. He could see nothing. If you heard this cry on earth, even if you don't want to give your life to the Lord, you would repent. He was crying, shaking, and troubled. The darkness was so thick you could touch it. The darkness was greater than the darkness he saw in Togo. When the gates of hell were opened and he was put in hell, he felt the heat and heard more of the cries. But he was not seeing anybody. He heard billions of different cries together. It was like the roar of the sea. Hell is very black. Gabriel's grandfather in hell. He heard someone say his name, Coco. He said, who are you and why are you calling my name? It was difficult for him to see. Even the great fire in the Lome market is nothing like this. It's different from the roar of the sea. Hell is very black. The person said, Ow. 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 I am thirsty. I want to drink water. There is no water there. There is nothing to eat. He said, Who are you? Sorrow for the perishing. The man said, I'm daddy. I'm daddy. I'm daddy. I'm the father of your father. Your grandfather. And the Lord said, Ask him what he is seeking there. I didn't create hell for the man. I created hell for Satan and his fallen angels.
And the man said, I was not fearing God. The Bible says God is over everything, but he didn't fear God. He said that he wanted to repent immediately and fear God. And why did you land in hell? The man said, I had a lot of wives. I had a lot of wives. I was eating the meat with blood. I was eating all those meats. I was worshipping the ancestors and giving money for sacrifices and talismans. I was taking wives. But now he was saying he was ready to repent. You may fast for three days, but for him, it had been ten or fifteen years since he drank water or ate. The Lord sent someone to him during his lifetime to tell him the word of God, but he cursed the person with a talisman, and the person died. Now in hell, he was ready to repent. He was saying sincerely that he would not have many wives, but would keep only one wife. All the insects were entering his genitals. Worms were entering his nose and ears. When the insects passed through him, it caused him to slither in pain. Demons were cutting his flesh. They were putting a sword inside his penis. What good is it if you have all the riches of the world and miss heaven? The man said if he could return to earth he would bring the word of God. The Lord said, leave him. So he left him. Pope John Paul II in hell. He saw another man in hell. The demons were torturing him and he was suffering. They were swarming over him like flies over excrement. Insects were entering his nose and were eating him, and he was crying. He put all his fingers inside his mouth, but a big serpent around his neck was eating him. He was suffering in big pain in hell. Gabriel asked, Who are you? The man said, Ow. Ow. John Paul II. Pope John Paul II. Gabriel wondered how he could be the one that people clapped for when he died because they believed the angels were coming to bring him to heaven. Gabriel asked him, Is that you? So he said to Gabriel, Yes, it's me. I traveled more than all the popes, and I can speak different languages all around the world. Gabriel asked him why he was there and what brought him to hell if he was truly Pope John Paul II. He replied that he did not fear God. He was asking forgiveness from the Lord Jesus. He said, I didn't know what I was doing. He said the people knew the truth, but he gave them false direction. He said Satan taught Catholics to make statues of Mary and Jesus so that people will say the woman is Mary and the son is Jesus. He said, the people knelt down beside these and prayed to Mary and to the saints, and here is our place. He said he is ready now to repent. He said, Jesus, I broke your heart. Save me. He said that if he went back to earth, he would tell the truth. He said, if I come back on earth, I will tell the truth to people because there are many souls in the Catholic Church. He said, all those who are celebrating death, praising dead people who are in heaven, are against the Lord. To put skull and bones under the altar, all those things are against the Lord. If somebody died and we said he is a saint, and you are taking his bones around the world, it's against the Lord. He was ready to repent in one minute. Pope John Paul II told Gabriel to tell people around the world that people who are making statues to Mary are the saints and are bowing down or saying the rosary, they will come here to hell. He asked Catholic people on earth to give their lives to Jesus. The Pope said to tell the Catholic people to pray very much because Satan has put their souls into a glass similar to the Pope mobile he used to travel in. He asked Gabriel to pray that this glass that Satan has put their souls in will break in the name of Jesus so that their souls will be able to go to the Lord Jesus. If they have only been baptized by sprinkling, he said they must ask a pastor to baptize them by immersion or else they may go to hell. Somebody once shot the Pope, and he went to prison to forgive his assailant. But he said he did that because people knew they were bringing people to hell, they were lying, and he had to do that so that people would think he was showing them the holiness life. Yet all the nuns have a ring, which signifies that they made a covenant with darkness. They are sleeping with popes and priests. All the popes are in hell from the first through the last, and they are crying, along with all the bishops and all the nuns, and all the cardinals. Millions and billions of them were crying, asking Jesus to save them and send them back to earth. They have brought billions and billions of people to hell, and there are billions more on earth are headed for hell because of them. The Pope was asking Jesus for the chance to come to earth and repent and tell the people to repent and tell people that the Lord is the way, the truth, and the life, to tell people they cannot come to the Father except through Jesus. He now wanted to tell everybody that anything they want to ask, they must ask as the Lord said to do in his name only. He wanted to read to the people JN 14 13-14 and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, 
that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. He said that those Catholic people calling upon Mary and the saints and the angels are the same as the people who are consulting mediums. It is like when Saul had the witch Endor call up Samuel 1 Sam 28, 7-19. He said that even if he came back to earth and told people about hell, they would never believe. He said that sooner or later they would begin praying through his name, and all those people would go to hell to see that he is a liar. He said Satan would deceive them and sooner than soon they would be down in hell, too. He said, If I live it is no longer I that live but Christ that lives in me. The Lord said, Leave him. Togo President Nasingbe Iadama in hell. Gabriel said all the presidents of Togo are in hell. He saw President Nasingbe Iadama there who was crying seriously. He asked, What good is it to be president for eight years then die and come to hell? The way he was crying, I, 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 was pitiful. Insects were entering his body, demons were spearing him, and they were putting things inside his private parts. The Lord said, Ask him why he came here. I Adama said, I, 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 did not fear God. I took the place of God. People were singing for me. People were dancing for me. I became God. I called myself, Ba you Ba, a victory, and here is where I landed. He asked for one minute to repent. The Lord said, It's too late. He said, Oh, Lord. All the country of Togo, I built this country on a lie. Every time we had an election, I was making trouble, I will come back on earth to do restitution for people. I sacrificed people to Satan. I sacrificed people a lot, thinking that I can be elevated, so that everywhere I go, people will be in fear of me. If I knew that hell is really like this, I would not be a president for Satan, I would ask for forgiveness. All the money I took from Togo people, I would give restitution. I would give all the money I took from Togo people so they can be free to worship the Lord, I would take a Bible, to preach to people with that car, with that motor, with that bicycle. The Lord said, it's too late. He said, ow, go and tell my children that all the money that I put in your account, the money from the country. I put a lot of money in your account. When I got to hell, it's there that I realized that it's hell that I left to my children. And I knew that my children they will lie cheat their lives, they will be adulterers all their lives. If I knew, it's only the Bible that I would put in their accounts. All my children I would put a Bible in their accounts. I took with force the wives of people. I killed those people that were telling truth. And I told them that all of them would go to heaven, but all of them are here. Part of his message to his children was, their strength is not enough. If me their father has landed in hell here, what will be their part? They should do restitution, all the women that they have to leave the women and get married to one wife. All the money that I stole, to bring back all the money to Togo people, so you will not come here to hell. He said he loved Togo people. He had a wonderful car, wonderful shirts, wonderful coats, and a wonderful airplane. And when he arrived in hell, he forgot everything, and he was crying and crying, asking for forgiveness. The demons were torturing him, and he said, Jesus, I am your child. All those things I have done for you. He continued, all the presidents who say they want to go to heaven, tell them to give their lives to Jesus. No matter what president you are, tell them to give their lives to Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can go to heaven without Jesus. Nobody can be anything without Jesus. You can't be a general. You can't have knowledge. You can't be somebody who is against people. You can't be a person of peace. Jesus is the only one who has peace. If you realize that the breath you have is from God, why not worship God to go to heaven? This place that I'm in now, hell, I have forgotten everything, all my coats, my shirts, my milk that I was drinking. I forgot everything, tell all the people around the world to give their life to Jesus. Gabriel said, I left him. If you saw the way I Adama was suffering, it was terrible. He was crying, he was crying, he was crying. He was crying. He was crying. All Muslims are going to hell if they don't repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Someone else was also crying there. Somebody was suffering. The demons were surrounding him. Gabriel asked him, Who are you? Ow. I am the leader of the Muslim people. I am the person that Muslim people are worshipping. I was thinking that if I died, I would go to heaven. When I died, I landed in hell. 
All the Muslim people on earth who say if they kill somebody they will go to heaven, they are going to hell. And those people who have three or four wives, if they die, they will go to hell. I told them in the Quran that when we die we all go to hell, all of them when they die they will go to hell, and after death, they will awake, our goodness, our badness, and be released from hell. I was praying in the Quran asking for the forgiveness of my sins, but when I died, I landed in hell. I would have loved to go to heaven, but I landed here. I got married to 13 women, and my life was terrible. In the Quran, it says I will be the last person. It's not me, it's not us, but it's the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Jesus. It's not we Muslim people, but Jesus, the Spirit of Jesus, the Holy Spirit who will pour out this love in the end time. Those people who are Muslim, if they don't give their life to Jesus, if they die, all of them will go to hell. Tell them, but if they want to, make virgins, it's better for them to give their life to the Lord Jesus. Satan is telling them the Lord Jesus cannot be the Son of God, 1 JN 520. Jesus Christ is the true God, the Son of God. He is God. He is God. And tell all Muslims who give their life to Jesus to hold on to Jesus till the end, so that they can reign with Jesus. If they can permit him to come on earth, they will repent from saying their prayer beads, from going to Mecca. No, no, you can give money to orphans, to widows, to build a hospital, to build a mosque. If you do that without Jesus, you will go to hell. He was crying, he was suffering, he said, ow, ow, what good is it for all those Muslims to worship Satan? They say, Allah, Allah, Allah is a slave. Hagar, who gave birth to Ishmael, is a slave. Isaac's mother, who is Sarah, we have to follow them to believe in Jesus and go to heaven. But if they refuse to follow, then Hagar's generation, all the slaves, they will go to hell. All the slaves, their place is in hell. If you read Galatians 4, it says the Lord is the truth, the way, the only way to heaven. The devil is telling them that Jesus will come back and will tell the people to follow Muslim people, they are the last person to follow. All those things, I lied. If Jesus comes back, he will come to take his church to go reign with him. If so that is a pity. It's a pity. See Galatians 4 20 minus 26 and he kept telling Gabriel, go and tell them. Tell them the truth. To give their life to Jesus. That the Lord is the only, only way to heaven. Gabriel says, he wanted to go to heaven, but he landed in hell. If you see that, it's so terrible. I left him. Women suffering in hell. Gabriel saw many women suffering in hell. He asked the Lord that when he would come back to earth and give his testimony that the Lord would make a big screen so that everyone could see the women are tortured in hell so that women can repent. The Lord said, it's good what you are saying, but I don't want to do that. I can do it, but I will not. I can do it so they can see the way that demons are torturing women in hell. When I wanted to destroy the earth, I gave Noah the dimensions to build the ark, but I didn't show him how I would destroy the earth. Yet he believed. And all the measurements that I gave him, he made the ark correctly. And the reason why he and his family told them those people who will accept the word they will be saved, but those people who will reject the word they will perish. Their faith is coming from the word of God. Before you have faith, you have to listen to the word of God. A woman in hell for wearing earrings. Jesus said to ask her, what brought you here? She said, ow, ow, it's my pastor who killed me. It's my pastor who killed me. And here my pastor is unable to serve me. She had heard a holiness message that it is only slaves who wear earrings, x21, 1 to 6, and that it was a sin to wear earrings, and that all the people who are wearing earrings will go to hell. So she went to her pastor for his counsel to ask if this was true. He said, who are such person? Don't they read the Bible? The Lord said that the gold and silver is for him. And her pastor assured her that it was not a sin. He gave her hope. In fact, he gave her money to go out and buy a small pair of earrings. When she died, she landed in hell. She regretted it and wanted one minute to come back to earth and repent. She was saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It was difficult for her to speak. She said, Jesus, allow me one minute, so that all the women if they want to continue wearing earrings, me I will not wear earrings again. And the Lord said, it's too late. After death, there's no repentance. She said, I cannot stay here. I cannot stay. It's the pastor who brought me here. It's the pastors who are telling false doctrines to people.
Allow me to go tell women not to wear earrings again. And the Lord said, It's too late for you. And the Lord told Gabriel to leave her. If you saw the way she was suffering. A woman in hell for relaxing, perming her hair. He saw a woman there who was suffering. When she was on earth, she didn't want to be dirty, like the people of her village, who didn't wash their hair, so she put something in her hair to make it look shiny. But Gabriel said we must not artificially make our hair look shiny, and we must not try to change it. So if it is curly like the African hair type, you must not straighten it, and if it is straight hair like white people, you must not make it curly. She said, if I went back on earth again, I don't want to do that again. The Lord said, it's too late for you. And she said, ow. Oh, we say that we are civilized. We say that we are civilized. We can change our hair to any way. I want to go tell people on earth that those are not civilized people. Our civilization is hell. Those who are the son of love, who are putting products on their head, changing their head, should go forward to stay in the word of God so that they can go to heaven. She also wanted to come back to earth so she could not be such a civilized person, and the Lord said, it's too late. And Gabriel left her. A woman in hell for fake hair, jewelry, nails polish, mini skirt, trousers. There are a lot of women in hell. They are more than the fish of the sea. A woman, when she was on earth, was warned about using fake hair, because people that do so will go to hell. But she replied, no, that's not true. Jesus only looks at the heart and not on the outside. When she died, she found out she had been deceived all her life and now she begging for a second chance to come back. Jesus said, it is too late. He said he knows the number of hairs on our head, Mount 1030, but we are adding false hair. We are insulting Jesus that the Lord is a foolish man. But the Lord said, the way I create Indians hair is different than the Arabians. It's different than Americans. Americans hair is different than French people's. And French people are different than African people. Everything he had done, he said everything's good. And we are mocking him that what he had done is not good. She was crying. Those women who are wearing jewelry, demons will cut them and put sharp things in their private parts. She said to go and tell women who are wearing jewelry to remove all their jewelry because if they are wearing it they are committing adultery all their days on earth. Any husband who is telling his wife to wear jewelry, because it is enjoyable during sex, they will have a problem in hell. Anyone who is wearing nail polish, it is actually blood they are wearing. It is crying out like the blood of Abel. When you die, demons will cut your fingers and say, you want to be beautiful. We want to make you beautiful. And they put hot irons inside your private parts. The woman he saw being tortured like this said, if I come back to earth, I will not do that again. Women who wear trousers or short trousers, shorts, when you die, demons will shove a sword up into your private parts. And when you continue crying, they will push it further. The demons will say, it's an abomination in the sight of the Lord. We will show you. The Bible says women should not wear the dress of a man and men should not wear the dress of women. But you, you don't want to obey the word of God. We will show you. The woman said, ow, 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 Lord, it's our pastor who told us to wear trousers. If I come back to earth, I will not wear trousers again. I will not wear trousers again. I will not wear trousers. And the Lord said, it's too late for you. Then he told Gabriel, leave her. A woman in hell for oral sex with husband. Gabriel saw a woman in hell, who had practiced oral sex on her husband. In doing so, she had insulted God, and demons were torturing her. The demons were cutting her tongue and her mouth like butchers are cutting meat. The pain was great and it was difficult to speak. She was asking Jesus to allow her to come back on earth. She said that if her husband wanted her to perform that act, she would not do it again. She said, my pastor did not tell me that was a sin. Women in hell for being on top of their husbands during sex. The women who are climbing on top of their husbands to have sex with their husband underneath them are in hell. A warning for Christian married couples, that the Lord showed also the same thing to brother Olad Benga Oladeho. In a written transcript of Gabriel's testimony, he indicated that the Lord sees the woman on top position the same as lesbianism. The Lord told brother Oladejo that his children are confused, so they must be warned about these sins that are taking them to hell, so they will not perish. He visually showed him these people's sins on the judgment screen, 
and audibly warned against married couples masturbating on their beds. Looking at pornography, oral sex, trying different styles of sexual intercourse to spice it up, such as doggy style, penetration from behind, and various positions, including the wife on top, e.g., so called rocking horse, cowboy, or cowgirl positions, and hanging your wife, a type of domination and bondage position involving tying her down, intended to simulate rape. He said the only position that is holy in God's sight is the face to face position with the husband on top. The scriptures the Lord gave the pastor were first of all Isaiah 33, 14, which says, The sinners in Zion are terrified, trembling grips the godless, who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? He said that hell is so terrible that once you see it, you will not ask any questions. If they told you to stand up for the rest of your life, you would never want to sit down again, if it meant you would avoid going to that place for eternity. The second scripture is Isaiah 24, 4 5, which says, The land suffers for the sins of its people. The earth languishes, the crops wither, the skies refuse their rain. The land is defiled by crime, the people have twisted the laws of God and broken his everlasting commands. The Lord said there are ordinances in the scriptures about relations between a husband and a wife, and his children have violated these ordinances. Adam knew Eve for one thing, as he taught in both videos, the scripture says, Then Adam had sexual intercourse with Eve his wife, and she conceived and gave birth to a son. General 4, 1a. It does not say Eve lay with Adam or that Eve had sexual intercourse with Adam, or that Eve knew Adam. It was Adam who knew Eve intimately. If you doubt whether this can be used to teach us as married couples how to have sexual intercourse, then let me remind you of the passage in Genesis that Jesus used to teach against divorce. When the Pharisees came and asked him whether it was lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any reason, he asked them what Moses commanded. They replied that Moses told them to give her a certificate of divorce, and they seemed to view that as God's commandment about marriage and divorce. However, Jesus corrected them and said, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Matt 19. 4 to 6. Gabriel Dufel of Togo. On people heading.